welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam and I am the owner of Malia Stitches, which is an Etsy shop where we sell um, embroidered kids t-shirts and tutus and hopefully more to come. Um, today I wanted to show you how to sew on patches. My daughter is in Girl Scouts and um, they get a lot of patches that need to be put on their vests. Um, this particular vest belongs to one of the other Girl Scouts. Uh, she is just becoming a cadet this year and we have um, our first booth sale for cookies on Saturday and she we have to wear our vests during um, while we're standing out selling cookies. So we need to get this vest ready for her to wear. So um, Girl Scout patches all Do come. Do you find glue? No, I don't, sissy. Girl Scout patches come with um, adhesive on the back, and you can just press those or heat press those, iron those on, and um, they will stick if you don't want to sew them. Um, our girls are pretty active and wear their vests all the time, so um, this the glue doesn't seem to hold very well for them. The, the numbers and stuff will start to, or the patches will start to come off. So we like to sew them down instead of um, heat pressing them or ironing them on. So for this vest, I am going to use a white thread on top, and then I'm going to pick a matching thread that matches the color of the vest for the bottom or the bobbin thread. That is so that when you have the vest on or wearing the vest, you're not going to see the the where you sewed it coming through the back. Or if the vest flies open like this, you're not going to see all of the um, stitching on the back. It's going to kind of blend in. So let me move you a little bit closer and we'll put these down. Okay, so first thing you want to do, like I showed in the last clip, was lay all your um, patches down on the garment first, line everything up so you can get an idea of the placement. Um, so we've done that, so now I, sorry I moved you guys, so now I know that I want to stitch this flag right here on the top front shoulder. So we are going to make sure that we open this up and all we have is that front piece. Slide it onto the machine. You're going to put your presser foot down. Um, you can move your needle all the way to the left that way, or all the way to the right, that way you have a little bit more control of the patch. But my needles, my machine doesn't sew very well when the needle's pushed all the way over, so I don't do that with this machine. But what you're going to do is just sew a stitch all the way around the edge of your patch. Um, my stitch length is set at 3.5. You can make that smaller if you'd like. And then you just go real slow. This does take some time, but it is worth it. It'll make this patches stay on much longer. So make sure you back stitch at the beginning. Just go real slow around it. It's okay if you go off just a little bit. Just back stitch till you're back onto the patch. Then turn your garment. Lift your presser foot with your needle down. Turn your garment. Make sure everything is smooth so you don't have any bubbles. And then you're going to stitch along this other edge. And just keep lifting your presser foot and turning it so you're following the edge of that patch. Make sure your presser foot is down before you start sewing. And 
And like I said, you can shorten your stitch length if that works better for you. And then you can also press these down and sew them. Um, you know, iron them on and sew them if you would like for more stability. Trying to stay on the very edge of the patch the best I can so that my stitching blends in. stitch again and then take it off so now you've got you'll clip your threads here so now you've got your patch sewn on and on the back side your thread is matching and it should blend in a little bit so that it doesn't look all uh well, you don't see the, all the stitching just popping out at you. So that's how you stitch on a patch. Um, I'm going to stitch on the rest of these, kind of fast forward through that, and then I'll show you at the end. take the middle number and place it in the center best I can and stitch that one down and then I'm going to stitch going outward this way the next two numbers and then going outward this way the next two numbers that way I can get this as centered on here as possible as best that I can and then you don't have to pin them all down or glue them down um, before you stitch them but you can if you want to that's personal preference so I'm going to do that next
Breton stitching on the outside or around the edge of the uh, patch, I try to sew the patch down right along this edge where the satin stitching meets the patch itself. That way it's not so thick going through my machine if you sew around the satin edge here. So a little, um, I believe this is the story for this patch. Um, this is actually a Girl Scout patch from Japan. Um, our Girl Scouts leader was searching on, um, I think it was eBay, and came across a whole uh, collection of Girl Scout patches from Japan. So she contacted the seller. The seller was a Girl Scout um, leader in Japan and uh, they had all of these extra patches um, left over and she was just trying to sell them kind of as a um, keepsake or something for those that aren't in Japan. So uh, she bought the whole box um, and so the seller sent these in and she sent them some from our troops, some extras from our troops. So they kind of swapped and they, um, so now some of our American Girl Scout patches are in Japan and some of the Japan Girl Scout patches are here in America. So that's really cool. Also add um, if you're if you're wanting to heat press your uh, patches down and they don't have the sticky on the back of them what you're gonna do is cut a piece of heat and bond ultra make sure it's the ultra the permanent hold um, heat and bond so you're gonna cut a piece of that to match the back of the patch like this okay like this so you have your patch this is the back of my patch this is my heat and bond ultra this is the paper side facing and then there's the glue side here so you're going to put the glue side down onto your patch you're going to heat press or iron whichever one you have I'm going to heat press, making sure the glue side is touching the, the back of the um, patch and the paper side is facing up. You're going to heat press. I'm heat pressing at 300 for probably 15 seconds. We'll see how that does. Okay, now you let it cool. You don't want to peel it hot. Let it cool off. And then you peel it off. And now you have the sticky on the patch. So you're just going to put your
vest on your heat press. Put your patch down and make sure it's straight. This is the top of the vest. This, sorry, you're out of frame. This is the top of the vest. This is the bottom. So I'm going to put this. This particular patch goes on the front just like this. Then I'm going to place this over to protect the patch and the garment. Press it. I'm going to press it for at 300 for 15 seconds. And then I will check to see if it's held, holding nicely. Okay, we'll lift the press or the press up. Take this off. Give it a second to cool because you don't want to pick at it while it's still hot because it's not fully adhered. Let it cool off. And there you go, it's on there. If it um, still feels loose to you, you can press it for a little bit longer. Um, but that's how you can create your own patch or adhesive patch or um, what are they called? Um, iron-on patch with using the Heat and Bond Ultra. And I get, have this um, by the roll. You can buy it at Walmart. I think you can get some at Hobby Lobby and Joann's. Um, just make sure you get the Ultra, not the light, if you're going to use it for a permanent stick. All right. All right, we are now finished. We've got all her patches sewn on that uh, she has so far. So this is the front. And here's the back. Move it so you can see. There you go. That's how I sew on Girl Scout patches. Um, you can probably use this method for any patch. Um, I hope you guys find this video um, educational or informative. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. Just leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content and want to see more. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.